What's up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Black and White 2. Last episode we began exploring here in the desert resort and we didn't really quite finish it up but there is actually a clip from the previous recording session that I didn't put in so I'm gonna edit that in now. I'm actually probably gonna be switching out the EXP share on Lucario or onto Lucario rather from Tesla because I don't know. Let's uh, go ahead and not spray your repel and pick up the item that is right here, and that is a Firestone. So if you picked up a Growlithe earlier, or I don't know what other Pokemon you could have picked up by now, maybe a Vulpix, I'm not sure if you could get one by now, but there's the Firestone to evolve that. However, uh, you probably shouldn't evolve Arcanine so early or Growlithe into Arcanine, because he doesn't, I, as far as I know, I don't think he gets that many moves after he evolves. Did I actually spray your repel without wanting to? I guess I did, I don't know, but let's go up here, grab ourselves a nugget, that's great. And if you actually remember, huh, I guess this is why it's different, because this definitely wasn't buried this way in Black and White 1. Maybe, I guess the sand level has risen or rose or something, I don't know, but uh, it's, this is definitely a higher sand level than it was in Black and White 1, I think, and uh, you have a Muna. For some reason, I thought you have a Sigilyph, because you're, uh, you're sort of a Psychic Trainer, and I thought you'd have a Psychic... Like the Pokemon that you can actually find in this route and not just some random psychic. But, oh well. Uh, we might just still have a chance to see a Sigilyph at some point. I don't think we'll see it in the wild. Well, first of all, because it's really hard to find, I guess. Not as hard as Trap Inch, but still kind of hard to find. And uh, I, I have a Repel Up, so that's probably not. Are you telling me? Yeah. Oh, what the heck? Uh, this guy apparently added a mission to the Entra Link, which I have no idea how to use. So I probably won't know how to do the Entralink mission, but I don't know, if I can figure out how to do them, I'll definitely show them off uh, later in the playthrough, actually. Probably as, like, some extra videos or something, but for now, we're sticking to the main game here by taking out more sand dials and getting ready for that third gym, or fourth, actually, uh, over in Nimbasa. This route is actually, huh, I, it's not really that great for training, uh, as far as I know, but the next gym is actually going to be an electric type, so if you do... You can, I, I guess rather the wild Pokemon here are good for the gym, but the route itself isn't really that good for training them. And there's another hard scale, so we've already got two of those. Uh, those, just like the shards, are pretty helpful because one of them is for the move to leader, which I think are the hard scales, or relearner, sorry, and the shards are for move tutors, so pretty great stuff to have in hand. Anyway, I think this is the last trainer that we're going to be battling here, and then we're going to head out. I may have skipped over some trainers, and you might notice that there's actually ruins there, but I won't be doing those just right now. Uh, I'll probably do them in the next episode, actually. I'll finish it up with this trainer, and uh, next time we'll be heading into those ruins and checking them out and stuff, and, uh, well, it uh, looks like Pumba there just had a rough time, so let's avenge his death by sparking the Wubat, and keep in mind, or remember, or whatever you want to call it, that there are those that nurse at the entrance that can heal up your Pokemon, so you don't have to run all the way back to... Uh, Castelia City, because that is a pretty far way away now, so definitely try to use that nurse to your advantage. That sounds weird, but... Alright, can we please take this guy out? This is kind of... I don't know why, but I guess because I'm using fraps now, I can't tell what how much time is left. Hey, it's Tommy! And now we're back to wrap up the rest of the desert resort. Of course, the repel runs out. Uh, I know that there's a couple of trainers that I never battled. Apparently, this guy's not one of them, but I know that that lady that was running up and down over there that, uh, the actual Carmen San Diego here, because it is a lady. The other ones are dudes, but... Oh, there we go. Finally, you look at me. Jeez. Sure didn't want to battle me, did you? But I think this is actually the final trainer that we have left to battle in this area. And then we're actually going to move on to the Relic Castle, which is another area that's sort of inside this one, you could say. Uh, it, it's, so, it's pretty much inside the Desert Resort, but at the same time... It's own separate place, I guess, but not really, so. We're just gonna battle you and, wow, that's your only Pokemon, just a Magby. That's pretty cool, I guess, I don't know. We haven't seen anyone with a Sigilyph yet. I guess we'll maybe see someone eventually, but there's actually a yellow shard over here that we can pick up, as well as one item that I know I'm missing, and I think you might have it. Yes, you do! You got my soft sand, bro! Nice, uh, a nice businessman, just sort of chilling in a, in a ditch. That's totally normal, dude, and I don't disrespect you for it. I don't know. You're a weirdo. Why is he like just chilling in a ditch there? That's really weird. Like, can you imagine if I just stood here all my life, just in this ditch, and waited for people and then gave them soft sand? Like, what the heck are people gonna think of you? I don't know, but anyway, uh, this here is the entrance to the Relic Castle, 
which is what we're going to be exploring today before heading off to Nimbasa City. So, let's go ahead and talk to this dude here. Oh, you don't do anything, but he does tell you how quicksand works, and basically it's the fact that you can... Okay, we're going to spray another one, but basically the fact that you can walk across it without falling, but if you do run at any point, you'll fall through the middle, so... Probably don't want to do that, especially if you want to battle all the trainers like I do. Like this young man over here, this dashing young boy. Do you have a Sigilyph for me? Do you have something that you want to show me? I don't know, but... Anyway, uh, there is one new Pokemon that we can catch here, and look at that, it is a Sigilyph, wow. Can't believe I actually predicted that one, I guess, I don't know, but there is one new Pokemon for us to catch here, um, as well as some others that we've been able to catch before. Um, those two are Sandshrew and Sandile, which you can find in here, not really that rare, Neither, none of the Pokemon here are actually that rare. Um, and the last one, which is a new Pokemon, is Yamask. So as you can see there, I ran into the quicksand on accident, oh no, we're gonna die! Except you don't actually die, you just fall onto a lower thing, and you actually fall right on top of a heart scale, so. Nope, falling 30 feet down above a heart scale does not break it. Uh, despite popular belief, it does not actually break, but. Anyway, uh, there is one more trainer to battle here, I believe, but yeah, Yamask is a ghost-type Pokemon. Um, it evolved into, or it evolves into Cofagrigus, uh, which is the big mummy tombstone sort of sarcophagus Pokemon thing. And that's pretty much everything you can catch in here, so if you want any of those, then, or, yeah, you can catch the other two somewhere else, but if you want a Yamask, this is the only place you can catch one of those. So, I think there is actually something that we can get if we fall down this hole. Actually, I don't think so. But, oh my gosh, we're gonna fall down it anyway. Oh, no! Oh, boy. Yeah, we just fall onto the same place. So, nothing else you can really do in Relic Castle for now right here, other than catch the Yamask. Yeah, and battle two trainers, so yeah, let's head out of here and go back to the other place, uh, back in Route 4, and head onwards to Nimbasa City, where the fourth gym awaits. Can't believe we're actually speeding through this game quite fast. I've seen uh, some other playthroughs not go as I guess it's the fact that I speed up the battles or something, but I don't know. I feel like we're doing pretty good progress in this game so far, so let's spray one final repel just to get through this little area here, with the Dwebbles and the Maraca Pokemons and whatnot. And we're going to be heading off to Nimbasa City. Look at those trucks. I just like to stand here and look at the trucks sometimes. I don't know. I just feel like it's kind of cool. Little 3D renders of cars flying by and stuff. I don't know. But we're going to head up this way now. Is that a pool on top of the house? That is pretty dang cool. I wish I could live there and have a pool on my roof. Actually, no. Pools on the roof sound dangerous. But we're going to head into this area. Another brand new area to this game. And that is Join Avenue. Now, I did play through the Japanese version of this, and I had no idea what was going on. So, let's make up some really stereotypical businessman voice and go on with this. I can't possibly manage everything. What is... I don't even know. Hello there. I guess... I guess this is the voice I'm going with. Welcome to Join Avenue. We don't have anything yet, as you see. So, it's just an avenue at this point. Oh, where are my manners? Let me introduce you. I am the owner of Join Avenue. My dream is to go around the world building avenues that bustle with lots of people. The problem is, I have no one I can trust to manage the avenue. Something just struck me. You seem to be a trainer traveling around, aren't you? You naturally meet people from all over this region, don't you? I know it seems sudden, but will you manage the avenue for me? Thank you! Thank you so much! Oh boy, what's your favorite catchphrase that you use to greet everyone? Oh. Uh, okay. Well, we gotta consider this very, very carefully, because the words we are about to enter are going to be sent to other people around the world, so we have to be very careful about this when we enter this word. We have to be very, very... That's a great line! Then what would you say when something truly moves your heart? You want to choose something universal. A phrase that anyone will understand, you know? Okay, okay, I get it. It's... We... I, we... Vagu! Shampoo! I knew it! You are the one! Who else could be so well suited to managing the avenue? Sir! It's almost time for your next appointment! Oh, I almost forgot. My assistants, you heard me. I must leave now, so please support our newest manager. Yes, sir. Please take care of yourself. Oh, great. Okay, we'll see you later, dude. Shampoo to you, too. Pleased to meet you. How should we address you? Seriously? A title, too? Master! Now that you are the one to manage the development of the avenue, please turn it into a wonderful attraction where many people visit. I'll explain how to develop an avenue, so please. Talk to... Talk to... No, I don't want to talk to you. I just want to leave. 
Alright, fine, I'll talk to you. To make it more attractive, you'll want to use... You want useful city improvements, for example, shops. In order for you to make a shop, you'll need to have someone who has a dream. You then have to invite that person to join the avenue. Speaking of invitations, someone's coming this way! Why don't you invite this person? Hey! Hey, don't... Stop! Stop! Stop, stop, stop! Stop! No! Hey! Dude! Okay, good. Janice? What? Your name's... Oh, man! Doesn't look like anyone has built a shop here yet. Maybe I can make my dream come true. Alright, let's invite him. Ah, if I were to make my dream come true on this avenue, I would want to collect unique items and surprise everyone. Alright, let's make him a resident. We're making our Animal Crossing here, except they're not animals. So, uh, we have built Janice's Porn Shop. Yes, everyone make sure to visit it. Alright, let's visit Janice's Porn Shop. How's it going, Master? <laughs> I love that. That's not gonna get old. Alright, so let's buy some rare treasures. A Chunk C rank and a super big box. They don't even have an icon. I guess that must be a glitch or something, but... I don't really know how Joint Avenue works. I know it's something you have to do with real people. And obviously I have no friends, so it's something that I don't really do. And, uh, hey, another person to invite into the avenue. Can you come here, please? You wanna... Ah! Is this a new avenue? I wonder if that has any great shops! Okay, I'll recommend you to Janice's Great Porn Shop. You can... I'm sure you'll buy... Oh. Oh no. Oh, okay, he wants to go to the shop. Ah, I see Janice's antiques. Oh, okay. Cool. No thanks. Thanks for the thanks for the tip though. But yeah, that's um that's the joint avenue. You basically invite your friends, they make new shops, and then you invite your friends to your shops that you already own. And overall it just kinda sucks, but uh let's go ahead and invite this guy to make his dream come true and make a beauty shop, I guess. Did he actually make a beauty shop? Really? A freaking hiker made a, a beauty salon? Oh, that's just weird. Okay, never mind. You know what? Let's get out of here. It's a weird place. And here we are in Nimbasa City. When I pass by people, they want to open it. I don't care about Joint Avenue. Let's never talk about it again. All right, so welcome to Nimbasa City. And hey, you look familiar. I, have I seen you before? I heard that in Gear Station, you can have Pokemon battles in the subway. So I came here to test my skills. And what do you know? The subway bosses were here. Isn't that amazing? I mean, they're the strongest trainers in Gear Station. And they said they'd battle us two on two. This is an amazing opportunity. Would you please battle with me? The name's Rosa. Let's become the best partners ever and surpass the battle subway. Alright, let's do it. Come on. Chop chop. Cheerio, mate. Alright, so here we go. Um, I actually... If you remember my Japanese videos, or if you watch them, I guess. I thought these were plasma bosses for the longest time. Um, and I think it's because when the first Black and White came out, they were actually labeled that or something when the when the artwork for them came out. And look at them, they kind of look like Team Plasma people, I don't know, but they're definitely not. They're actually just the Subway bosses, which uh, basically the Subway system is uh, Pokemon Black and White or 5th Generation's answer to the Pokemon Tower. You basically go through different stages, but instead of climbing up a tower, you go through different stations on a sort of Subway, I guess, so... Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and battle these two. Uh, you actually have your partner Rosa to go along for this one, so it's a, it's a duo battle. I don't know what these are officially called, but basically it's a double battle, but with another person controlling the second Pokemon. Um, and this actually reveals the names of these characters. The, the female character's name is Rosa, and then the male guy, which is us, is actually Nate, which um, I guess I probably mentioned at some point before, but this is like when they officially say it, I guess, for the first time, because... I think you can't, since like a certain generation, you can't like just put in a default name anymore. I don't know, but basically they're Nate and Rosa and they're pretty cool people and they help you battle on the subway. So let's go ahead and take on the subway bosses. This is taking a really long time. So I hope that Bulldor, yep, Rosa, of course, doing all the work here because uh, God knows why Tesla can't do anything. He's, uh, he's just a little old Magnemite, not doing, not doing much, just, just sparking away the competition. Actually, I'm kidding, Tesla. You're really cool. I really like uh, Magnemite, but I guess, I guess right now he's not doing much, but he will be able to do a lot more, I'm pretty sure of that, I, I guess. But uh, yeah, there go Ingo and Emmett, the double battle supreme extraordinaires of the battle subway. And yeah, bravo! The combination of you and your fantastic Pokemon! I'm Emmett. While I may have lost to you, I had a good time. Let's play again sometime. Yes, please ride the subway and battle us all aboard! See you later, Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks from the, the Polar Express? Yeah, totally. Alright, so, see you later, girl. Oh, she's actually gonna give us something. Is that the Versus Seeker? Yes, it is. No, it's the Versus Recorder, that's what it's called. 
You can record battles with your friends or battles on the battle subway. I had a really great time battling you. I hope we can battle together again sometime. See ya. I'm not sure that we do, but I think if you do the battle subway stuff, you actually do get to battle with her again. Not against her, but you know, actually with her. So that is going to wrap up this video, guys. Uh, we made it all the way to Nimbasa City, so I think that's a pretty big accomplishment. Found out what Joint Avenue is all about. So next time, we're going to maybe take on the gym or do some stuff around here in the city. So see you guys then.